Google's released Gemini 2.5 and it's a beast of an AI model. Check out some of these benchmarks. It has the best score ever recorded on humanity's last exam. And that's always the one I look at first for thinking models because I actually trust that one. And when it comes to coding, Gemini 2.5 is very strong, but Claude 3.7 Sonnet is still the king, just a little bit better. 2.5 Pro also ships with a 1 million token context window, and apparently it's gonna to go to 2 million very soon, which is absolutely insane. It makes the model so much more useful for a wide variety of use cases. And best of all, since it's still experimental, it's totally free to use, both through the Google AI Studio and through the API. So let's put it to the test. To explore Gemini 2.5 Pro, you really wanna start in Google AI Studio, and I'll put a link to this in the description of the video. And then for the model, now it has Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental. And we can see here, it's totally free to use. Very recent knowledge cutoff of January 2025, which is just a couple of months ago. And the really nice thing about working in AI Studio is you can use this as a, as a proving ground. It can show you how the API works. So through trial and error, you can figure out what you wanna do in here and then take that code into your application. And I'll show you that in a second. And what I'm trying to build is a feature for my AI powered SaaS. It's called Resume Voodoo. And I want to add a feature where the user can upload a resume. AI will read everything off that resume and then research how it can be improved and even look into the local area where the person is looking for a job, see what the marks like for different skills and do some real deep research to really optimize the resume. To get this going, I'll start with this random resume I just found on Google, it's just a fake resume. For John Smith, he lives in Fort Collins, Colorado, and he's in early childhood education. So first thing is just upload that PDF. And you can see here actually it's got a new option, YouTube video. You can actually link a YouTube video in here and it takes a transcript and uses that as the context for the chat, which is pretty cool. In this case, I'll just upload it. And once you upload it, you see it says extracting here. So it actually extracts automatically the text from the resume. It also automatically adds it to Google Drive for you. And when it takes a text out of that, that equaled 517 tokens. And we can see here our context window, that huge 1 million context window. And now we've only taken up 517 tokens of that. That just gives you a sense for how much data you could upload into one session. It's massive. And now I'm going to put in the prompt, with this resume, conduct the following research. And then I say use web search to help. The web search is another new feature for Gemini. So if you look over here on the right in tools, the bottom one now, it says grounding with Google search. So we turn that on. And what that means is it's not only going to pull in all the information from the Gemini model, it's also going to do web searches to bring in more relevant recent data. And then the AI model will merge those all together to give us one response. And then just give us some points about what I want the research to be. So it says look for in-demand skills for this person's profession. Also in-demand types of jobs and skills in this person's local area are related to their profession. So this is where the web search will help a lot. Then I can say, with this research, provide a report of the changes and what in the research led to that recommendation. Also an enhanced resume. Let's run that. And I've done this with all the different models just because I'm trying to test out this feature. So it'll be really interesting to see how this one works compared to the other ones. So first thing it does, it does this thinking, similar to the thinking models. It goes through all the steps it's doing, the web searches it's doing. So you can really see behind the scenes on how it arrives at that research and those recommendations. All right, that took 56 seconds to run. So it's not quick, but I asked it to do a lot and it brought back a lot of data here. And the results are very comprehensive and really good actually. So, so first it's just summarized all its research findings. And then it came back with specific enhancements it recommends. Just a few examples is replace career summary with a more dynamic professional summary. And then it suggests rewriting the bullet points to be more achievement oriented and quantified. And for example, here it changed managed 25 volunteer workers to recruited, trained, and managed a team of 25 volunteers, improving program support capacity, which sounds much better. And it put it all together to give us this nice enhanced resume, which looks much better. And then at the end, it gives you all the sources it used to, to do all its research and make these recommendations. So this is the best output I've seen of all the models I've tried. This is really good. So now I want to use this chat as a template and actually build it into my AI powered application. And Google makes it really easy to do that. So if you see in the top right here, it says get code. It's actually taken everything I've done here and actually put it into the API format and basically done all the work for us. This is how you upload the file. This is the model we're using. So Gemini 2.5 Pro. And it even gives a response. So this is really everything we need to build this into our application. You can also get this code in a variety of languages. So I'm going to do it in Python today. I'm going to build a little application in Python. But if you say you had a React application or Next.js, you could use Use JavaScript and get the same thing. Okay, so we're gonna copy all this, we're gonna head into cursor and implement it. 
One thing actually before you leave here though, it has a link for relevant package. And if you go there, it gives you the latest package to install and how to install it. Make sure you get the Google Gen AI one. If you're into building with AI, make sure you subscribe to the AI Unleashed newsletter. With all the noise in AI right now, it cuts through that noise and just gives you the relevant information. It's the first link in the description. I hope to see you there. And then the cursor, the way I like to implement this is take that code we just copied and put it into a cursor rule. And the reason I like to do that versus just putting it into a cursor chat is that from my experience, I find it often swaps the model number back to 1.5 for Gemini for some reason, but it works much better when you set up this rule. I want to say use this code structure to implement Google Gemini model and then just paste it in. And now all the cursor chats are going to have this in the context so it knows exactly how to implement it. And now I can just use a prompt, create a streamlit application that the user can upload a resume and use Gemini 2.5 API to enhance it with the following prompt. And then I'm just going use that same prompt I used in AI Studio. So it built us this application and not surprisingly, it took the exact same code we gave it. And it looks like the API is implemented correctly. It has the model here being Gemini 2.5 Pro. It's uploading that PDF, constructing it with parts here, which looks correct. And then it's also passing in the prompt that we gave it. And then in terms of tools, it did set up that Google search tool. So it says Google search equals types.googlesearch. And that passed that into the current configuration. So that looks good. Let's see if it works. So this is the application I built us, nice and simple. I usually like to build these little streamlit applications to preview a new feature I'm building in my real application, especially a major feature like this. I find it really helps me isolate the feature and really get all the wrinkles out. Let's upload that same resume and just say enhanced resume. So now it's pushed all that to the Google API. I assume this will take about a minute like it did last time in the AI studio. All right, there we go. This time I actually broke it down into two phases. It had the research phase and the analysis and recommendations report. And the order is slightly different, but basically that recommendations are the same as we got through the AI studio. And then I put all that together and gave us an enhanced resume. And of all the testing I've done for this feature with different models, this is definitely by far the best results I've gotten. I think the way it's merging all that Google search data with the power of Gemini 2.5 Pro really shines in a use case like this. I've also been impressed with how good it is at coding. I've been using it as well to do some coding just to test it out and it's been working flawlessly. In my opinion, almost indistinguishable from Claude 3.7 Sonnet. So make sure you check it out. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll talk to you in the next one.